the hot, molten interior. It's here where almost all the other materials needed to build life originate. The world is not a solid ball of rock, but more like a molten sphere of super hot liquid with a cool crust on the outside. The Earth's surface is like the skin of a raindrop, and it's inherently unstable. A magnitude nine earthquake hits Sendai with such incredible force that it pulls parts of Japan two and a half meters towards the USA. At the same time, half the world away, a volcano erupts. It fires a vast pyroclastic plume of ash high into the stratosphere. Such violent events are just local disturbances caused by the ancient slow currents of molten rock that constantly circulate inside the Earth, fueled by the radioactive decay of the Earth's core. It is this material leaking out through the crust that provides the basic elements needed by life. Two systems, one fiery, one watery, interact in many places. The most important occurs on the ocean floor. Two and a half thousand meters beneath the surface, at the bottom of the Atlantic, lies a chain of submarine volcanoes. and superheated gases spill out. The end of a 25 million year journey, all the way from the Earth's core, far below. This acidic and toxic world, where pressures are hundreds of times higher than on the surface, is where the basic chemistry of life is done. Gases that would normally bubble away react vigorously with the dense, oxygen-rich seawater from Antarctica. The hot minerals that have cycled through the planet's interior so long dissolve into this seawater. Now they react with the oxygen and become powerful materials called nutrients. The seawater, now packed with minerals from inside the Earth, emerges through hydrothermal vents. Living creatures scramble to make use of it. Bacteria are the first to colonize the vents. These tiny organisms thrive in such fertile conditions. 
Soon, more complex creatures feed on the microorganisms. And they, in turn, are fed on themselves. The nutrients are so plentiful, they cannot all be used here. Ocean currents will carry the surplus away and transport them all around the world and ultimately to the surface. Other currents erode the Earth's landmasses, stripping minerals directly from the rock. <laughs> 